I guess the snow that Denver ordered for us came finally, a couple days late, but whatever. Thanks, Denver. We got it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we got, without further ado, the horn install. I'm gonna show them where it is. And just replace your stock horn. And the power wire goes to the wire that's going to the normal horn. And then the ground will just go to the ground of the actual body itself. And then what you have is... There you go. I got this. So today, all of this is getting swapped out. All right, let's Sweet. see if it turns out chunky. I bought some shit oil just to clean it. You got some peanut butter in there? No, this is the shit oil. I'm just gonna let it drain straight through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get any other missing. See if we got poop inside the engine too, like missing. everything else. Harbor Freight Pro Tip of the Day. If you're gonna buy stuff from Harbor Freight and it says electric anything, it's gonna break. The electric motor and the brushes, they're gonna get gummed up, they're gonna wear out, they're gonna fail. So, pay nine bucks. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Pay the 10 bucks, whatever it is, and get the one year, two year lifetime warranty, whatever it is, whatever they offer for that particular device. And then in three days, when it breaks, you take it back, not the box, not the receipt, not nothing. This and your phone number, and you just hand it back to them. You go, this is a piece of shit. And they're like, duh, Harbor Freight. And you go, oh yeah. And you just grab another one and you walk out. Have a nice day. Super easy. Every three days, take it back for the next year, two years. And then you have impactness. Ow. Whenever you lift a vehicle and add larger tires, you need to upgrade your steering. Yeah. This is important. Oh yeah. It's very overlooked, unfortunately. Stock steering just is not good enough for what we're trying to do here. Not with so these fucking big tank ass treads. Tires. So we're gonna get rid of this stock steering set and put in a much beefier aftermarket set. Yes. And there's a lot of ways of going about this. Some people say, hit a hammer right here. Some people say, put a hammer here and then hit right here. Some people say, just hit on the knuckle. Different schools of thought right. on it. I mean, the pickle fork is- The it. pickle fork is your basic. You have nowhere, if it's real thin stuff, like all this shit around here is super thin metal and you're not reusing these boots or these tie rod ends, yeah. I say pickle fork Pickle it. fork it. Cause then you just ram it, one, two, three, bam, done. If this shit up here is thick as fuck, like like this couple taps with a fucking sledge and that thing's gonna pop right out of there if you don't believe us we're gonna show you now second tip is if you ever have to bang on the end of this thing put the nut back on the nut you're not gonna use or an extra nut or something because you're gonna mash the fuck out of the nut but then you won't mash the fuck out of these threads and mushroom them if you ever do have to use it again to put it back on to get it to move or something like that secondly if you're beating on the side of this to get this to pop out you don't want your whole goddamn shit falling on your nuts or your neighbor's dog so you put your nut on there and then when this pops it's just gonna go pink bing just like that see vibration and again the, the pitman arm is gonna take it the thing is solid steel that's why it's so thick it, it handles all this abuse back and forth a little sledge isn't gonna hurt it tie rod in a little little close clearance no no it's harbor freight shit dude put it on first it's got wobbles built in ah. But mommy, I want to go to Pet Boys and spend $59.99 on a steering wheel. No, Timmy, you're a fucking idiot. Then they're going to charge you $38.49 for the fucking mount kit and 80 bucks for the goddamn adapter for your car. Look, fuck yourself, stupid. Yeah, but like there's so much more thread. It's got to be pressed on. Like a man. And that will give you this. There, a little bit of that uh, leather wrap. And it should be done. Quadratech sent us the TJ front steering kit. And to make it work with the extra wide axles, we're going to have to cut and sleeve and extend them. So that's what we're doing.
custom. And then we've added in about four inches of length to both of these guys with some nice plug welds and sleeves. You wouldn't even notice it when it's all done and under the vehicle. Sweet. All right, finally got all this shit connected together, putting the final touches on. Little steering stabilizer. Awesome. 